Hey everyone, welcome to Bickering Book Reviews. I'm Sarah. And I'm Becky. And today we're talking about Yesterday's History by Costco Jackson. Uh, we both got this off of NetGalley because we listened to it. So yay for e-audio. I'm, yes. I'm like so excited that they keep putting more Every more time on I there. find one, I'm like, yes. I know, right? Uh, even, if, even if like, because they tend to release the audios after the books have come out, but like I'm okay with like waiting for the audio sometimes. Well, like there are certain books like Maggie Stiefvater... I want to listen to the audio. Right. Like, right. there are just certain books, like, I wait for the, like, I need that, that, it's like, just that comforting, audio. like, yes. Like, in my mind, like, Raven Boys doesn't work with not an audio. Even though I think I read the first one in book form. Hmm. Yep. Well, this book is about Andre, who has um, cancer, cancer and gets, he needs a new liver, and so with his new liver, he actually picks up the ability up for time travel and he starts traveling back to the 1960s where he meets Michael um who doesn't seem to be as surprised to see yeah, Andre Michael was just kind of like time travel whatever like, hey and they kind of <laughs> we're they the kind 60s. of you know like each other just like from the get-go very like insta like and so Andre's like, what, how, like, how is this happening? What's going on? Um, and so basically the family of the young man who gave him the liver comes and finds him to tell him about this new, be, this new power because it's a genetic thing that happened throughout their family, so they're going to train him on how to time travel. And um, along the way, Andre meets Blake, the um, young man whose liver their brother and so they start to kind of fall in like with each other and it's really complicated because there's Michael there's Blake there's this liver who um every time he starts to time travel sometimes it starts to hurt and so like what's like what does that mean what's going on with that and um so it's just navigating this new power and then all of these guys that Time. There's a lot of liking. There's a lot of liking. Um, so the best way I can describe this book is it feels like the movie novelization of the the junior okay, the novelization of a movie adaptation of a book. So it's like Yeah, that that's actually really <laughs> it's a very watered down version of a story. Right. It's like but it's like you know how like when you watch a movie after you've read the book, like there's enough of the story but it doesn't feel completely, like, all the way complete. That's what this felt like. This felt, this was very short. It felt like it should have been longer. I don't really know that much about the characters. Yeah. I don't understand the time travel and how the time travel worked. And I love time travel it's books. It's the liver, Becky. That's how it works. It's, it's all in the, the liver. liver. It's all in the liver. Like, and there's so much good in this book because there is, like, these LGBTQ themes. There yeah. are themes about um, racism and, like, what African-American men have to deal with. So you had all of that. Yeah, because, I mean, he, de he definitely talks about the fact that, like, there are some parts in history, as an African-American man, like, going back there is not safe. Right. So, like, you wouldn't necessarily want to show up in the 1800s, like, the early 1800s. Well, there were no, like, rules of their time travel, really. Like, they could just time travel whenever, wherever. And I wasn't 100% sure, like, how they decided where they were going, because, like, Michael was supposed to be his anchor, so he could go to Michael. But how did he go to Harlem in 1928 kind of stuff? You know, like, how did that work? Yeah. I, it didn't, didn't make sense. And then they were having somebody train him who didn't have the ability to time travel. So, like, that didn't make sense. No. Um, I don't know. It just, like, there was no oomph to it, no. I guess. There was no spark. There was no, I mean... It was I very think, well read. The reader was very good. Yeah. I agree. I I mean, and I think that this, this will work for, a like, a niche audience. Like, I definitely think that there are readers for this book out there. Um, just because of the... The diverse aspect but also the um the science the sci-fi aspect as well and this is another one of those books that didn't need the sci-fi aspect but i can see why they did it yeah um i really don't have that much more to say do you i don't so let's read it our rating scale goes from five unicorns down to two unicorns if we don't like it doesn't get a horn and is therefore a horse so where are you i'm like at a barely a three because the good like the themes and like the message outweighed the issues 
I'm also at three unicorns because it was a solidly written book. Um, I think that there is definitely a large section of readers out there for it. I, you know, I, there was room for improvement, but it, it, yeah. it works. So that is where we are on yesterday's history, and we'll see you around. Bye. Bye.